Okay, good afternoon. They promised me there's enough food outside, so you don't need to worry too much. Uh, my name is Yuval Miron, and I'm leading the Machine to Machine MVNO, what we call in MDOC's next generation uh, wholesale business. My session today is about customer experience, not the specific uh, ASP application uh, of a specific application M2M, but other aspects of the customer experience, the, what this experience uh, would look like in the future, and the challenges around it. Very briefly about MDOCS. MDOCS is a leading provider for uh, billing, customer relationship, and operational support systems. We uh, have around uh, 300 customers deployed over 60 countries. We have a rich portfolio of products and services. Among these services, you can find uh, managed services, cloud services, uh, consulting services, and system integration services. Uh, M2M is basically very close to what we are doing for the last uh, 30 years. And it is important to our customers, uh, the communication service providers, although still M2M is a, rel a relatively small business for them, they consider M2M to be one of the growth engines in the years to come. We believe that with this growth that I will talk in a moment, there will be a lot of new challenges that unique systems that MDOCS has will be needed in order to properly address the, uh, uh, the M2M uh, market. So growth until now, it is uh, M2M is growing as expected by the analysts and the market. But in order to maintain this momentum and even accelerate it, a lot of work will have to be invested by the industry uh, on the demand side. The demand will not come by itself as it is for the cell phones. Therefore, one of the uh, contributors for generating demand is innovative superior customer experience. Oh. So let's understand these uh, two words about customer and experience. In, in, and if you look, start with the customer, there are, in general, there are two types of customers. We have the enterprises, M2M customers, and we have the consumers. Under the enterprise, we can find the small, medium-sized, uh, uh, small uh, business uh, entities, the uh, big enterprises, and even the governmental institutions. These types of uh, customers, they will look for to reduce their cost of operation, increase their efficiency, uh, like we have the electricity companies, we have the health, uh, uh, health companies, and so on. On the consumer side, we have the different individuals uh, that they will look for to increase their life quality, their life experience and security. And we can see like wearable devices, connected car, connected home, and even connected dog. So different customers, but let's see different types of customers. Let's see what they need. What is their experience each one of them will look for? Enterprises. They will look for a partner, the partner that will take them and help them throughout the whole process of identifying which M2M they need and then to select the, the appropriate M2M application, go through the whole tender and, read, and put all the requirements. After selecting the M2M application, they need to select the, a, a partner for the connectivity, then to do a lot of work around integration, security, training, operation, and they need to repeat this again for another M2M application and another one. This is a whole project for the enterprise. Therefore, they will look for a partner. This partner uh, can be very much the communication service providers because they already serve them and give them a relief or help them to, generate, to, uh, to onboard multiple M2M applications easily uh, for them. The consumers, they will have 360 around their life, all kinds of M2M applications. They would like to keep it simple, very much similar to the app world that we all got used to it. We have different application providers, but 
few big aggregators that are doing all the aggregation, the settlements, the payments. The same will go also to some extent in the M2M uh, consumer world. They will look for simplicity. They don't, the consumers will not want to give their credit card to 50 different applications uh, uh, providers. They don't want to get 50 invoices from each one of them and then to have a dispute and settlement and call different call centers. They will look for someone that will do this job for them and aggregate all the applications and give them one stop shop so they can talk to and pay to. Let's see who are the most influencers or has the most impact on the customer experience with this respect. We have, at the top, we have the application providers, the ones that develop all kinds of innovative applications. At the bottom, we have the device manufacturers, the modem manufacturers, device management that develop a smart device, compact device. And in the middle, we have, most, in, mo in most cases, the communication service providers provide the connectivity, the, uh, con the, uh, the access, and the subscription. For, for the sake of this discussion, I will focus on the subscription management that will have a, a, an important impact on the uh, experience that I mentioned. So what were, uh, let's say until now, what are the requirements from this subscription management element or module? Till now, it was mainly around connectivity. The ability to activate a device, to ability to troubleshoot a SIM card or a device, basic stuff with high-level APIs, so it will be easy to integrate and uh, uh, operate the day-to-day -day operation with the devices. But looking forward, as I said, in order to generate the demand, there will be much more uh, requirements, many more requirements around it. First of all, there will be one customer. It's not going to be that we'll have a, a customer for the telecom services and another customer for the and one application, another customer for another application. Suddenly, we'll have 50 identities. It will be one customer that will be served for all the different applications and for the communication services. The any, 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 any type of network, any type of service, any type of partner, Will be, will be, must be supported by this subscription, new subscription module. One unified care. So you call the call center, you will be able to get a service to some extent for all the applications. You don't want to call different uh, uh, call centers. And also, you don't want to call one call center for telecom services and another call center just for M2M. You want to call one call center and get good service. All the business models, all the permutations, uh, business to business, wholesale settlements, smart ones, we'll see some examples. Business to customers, direct selling, or on behalf, business to business to customers, uh, generating invoices and charges on behalf of the different applications must be supported by this subscription module. Different charging uh, concepts, prepaid charging, uh, uh, usage-based, uh, Postpaid, all of that will be needed to be supported, and also integration to the legacy billing and customer care systems that are currently running for the telecom services will be needed as well. We'll see an example of split bill and split charge. And of course, we are talking about uh, telecom services which needs scalability, high availability, security, all the standard requirements in the telecom world. So let's take and see two examples about uh, two, two scenarios where uh, the, the use case uh, will be a more complicated, the experience. We see that at the bottom we have the, co the communication service providers, and at the top we have the application service providers. They can work together and benefit from each other, or they can fight for the customer. If they will cooperate, both of them will benefit. CSPs. They suffer a lot from churn, and they will try to create stickiness. By bundling a lot of M2M applications, they will protect, they will reduce the churn, 
and protect their core business. Because if you want to move from one operator to the other, suddenly you don't, ju you don't just need to replace your SIM card in the cell phone, you need to replace a lot of SIM cards with a lot of other applications. So CSPs would see that the ASP can benefit them also to drive data and volumes, but mainly to reduce the churn. ASPs, there will be a lot of ASPs, multiple uh, uh, applications targeting the same uh, a business industry or vertical or service. They will look for someone that will promote their application, resell their application. They will also look for to reduce their cost of operation or initial investment around billing, invoicing, customer care, collection, and so on. Therefore, they will very much enjoy the infrastructure that the CSP already has. Working together, they can get a, what we call win-win situation. They can have, the operators will be able to send one bill for all the services and uh, telecom services, as well as M2M -M services. They will be able to bundle the services and get good uh, prices to the market uh, so they can create kind of a synergies between the applications and the telecom services and customer care. Customer care is also very complicated to serve the, the, the call centers. The, the CSP are well uh, ready to serve all the existing customers and the M2M -M customers. So instead of having, getting a lot of invoices at the end of each month, each one of us, there will be one, one consolidated invoice that will give you all the charges for the telecom as well as for the M2M -M application. Of course, behind the scenes, in order to support all of that, there is a lot of complexity, ingenuity that will bring all the knowledge, the data, uh, data structure of the subscriber, the charges, and so on, settlements between the different parties. All of that needs to be supported by this next generation subscription management uh, uh, model. Let's take uh, another example. It's connected car. So we have Start with a simple example. We have the uh, car manufacturer selling the communication services or uh, the connected car services to the end consumer. The end consumer will pay to the car manufacturer and they will pay some amount to the CSP for the connectivity. Well, this is a simple case. It will not be in the future like that. There will be a lot of content providers that will try to drive a lot of content on top of this infrastructure. So, Suddenly, we need to do a little bit more, more settlements and more uh, registrations and more payment methods. So the consumer should pay the content provider and register directly to the content, maybe. The content will have to pay the CSP. The uh, co content provider will pay also the, the car manufacturer. There will be a lot of uh, options here how to settle the, the charges. Now, let's, there will be a lot of content providers like that and the story will become more complicated. Adding additional uh, uh, applications, like paying for your gas station, for the petrol, parking, you want to pay from the connected car, uh, toll roads, you want to pay, insurance, usage-based insurance, and so there will be about 40, 50 applications on top of the connected car. In this case, the amount of permutations and the methods, who is going to pay who, who's going to settle with whom and how much to pay will be extremely complicated. And this is bad customer experience. If this is the experience we are going to give our customers, I'm telling you, they are not going to buy it, I'm not going to buy it, and I believe none, neither of you. So therefore, there is another way to look at that where there will be one, in this case it is the CSP, that will do all the settlements. The CSP will become the aggregator, the focal point that will do all the charges, send one invoice, good promotions, good bundles, and then the CSP will set, do all the settlements with all the different partners uh, by itself, and for that, he will have to have a, a very powerful uh, 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 billing system that will do all of these uh, options easily and for all the different industry verticals. So I know you're all angry, so I, will, I tried to push hard. To summarize my, my presentation, M2M uh, is growing. 
it was growing so far very impressive, I would say. But in order to make it uh, 20 times more bigger, to 20 billion connected devices, the paradigm that we are all aware of will be changed. Whatever we know today in terms of business, for sure will be changed in the future. We heard a lot about that it's a low ARPU market, and so the, per, the entity that will take the risk the most would like to be paid for the, for the big portion of the revenue. And therefore, there will be needed new concepts and new ideas that the subscription management billing systems will have to support. Uh, experience to our, in MDOCs is everything. Customer experience is everything. This will dictate the success of the M2M. Uh, and for that, we, you have to have the, the right infrastructure at the back end of the IT of the CSPs uh, uh, to support all these unique and new ideas that will come. And we believe that with uh, the experience that we have, we are very much best positioned to serve our customers and to serve the industry and help the industry to generate the growth that we are all waiting for quite some time. And I welcome you to visit us at the booth to eat some candies. Thank you very much. <laughs>